Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 6.4 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we are diving into a critical performance comparison between concurrent dictionary and dictionary in C Sharp. Specifically, we'll explore which one performs better in a multi-threaded environment. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel programming using PFX that is parallel framework extension libraries in C Sharp. If you have been following along with my previous videos in this series, you might recognize this diagram. In our previous videos, we have covered p -link queue, that is parallel link queue, parallel class and task parallelism. Currently, we are learning concurrent collections. .NET ThreadSafe Concurrent Collection In our last video, we focused on concurrent back T class in detail. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend checking it out. You can find the link to that video in the upper right hand corner of this video. Today, we will be discussing concurrent dictionary T key T value in detail with practical examples and also doing performance comparison between concurrent dictionary and dictionary class. When working with collection in C Sharp, choosing the right one can significantly impact your application performance, especially in multi-threaded scenarios. The two popular choices we have, dictionary and concurrent dictionary. But is concurrent dictionary always the better choice? Let's find out. So before we delve into comparing their performances, let's first discuss at a high level what dictionary and concurrent dictionary are. A dictionary is a generic collection that can be used to store key value pairs where each key is unique within the dictionary and it maps to a specific value. And the dictionary class is implemented as a hash table. It's very, very important to be noted. Right? For this specific reason, it provides fast access to values based on the key. So whenever we want to retrieve some values based on the key, it is helping us to retrieve it fast. Now, when we add a key value pair to a dictionary, it computes a hash code from the key, which is used to determine the location where the key value pair will be stored within the dictionary. Because of that, retrieving a value by using the key in a dictionary is very fast. And also we need to keep in mind a dictionary key must be unique and should not be null for a reference type, while the value can be null if it is a reference type. Now, when it comes to the concurrent dictionary, it is a special type of collection that helps us store key value pairs like a regular dictionary. But it's designed to handle situations where multiple threads are accessing or modifying it at the same time. So this makes it safe to use in multi-threaded application without having to add our own locks to prevent data corruption. Okay, so let's imagine you have a big box where you and your friends are all putting in and taking out named items at the same time. If everyone just reaches in whenever they want, things could get chaotic. Items might get lost or you might end up with duplicates. So a concurrent dictionary is like having a super organized box where everyone can safely add and remove items at the same time without causing any chaos. Okay, so let's see some important differences between dictionary and concurrent dictionary. So number one, namespace. Dictionary class is available in system.collection.generic namespace, whereas concurrent dictionary comes under system.collection.concurrent namespace. Number two, declaration and initialization. How we declare and initialize these classes? It's simple. We use the new operator to initialize these classes. That's what I have written where payment methods is equal to new dictionary int a string. So basically, I am just creating an instance of this dictionary by this way. Right? Similarly, if we want to create an object of concurrent dictionary, how we can do that? Where payment methods is equal to new concurrent dictionary int a string like this. So this is the way how we are going to declare and initialize it. Now come to the thread safety. It's very important difference between dictionary and concurrent dictionary. Dictionary is not thread safe, whereas concurrent dictionary is the thread safe. Number four, performance. In a single threaded scenarios, dictionary has slightly better performance. In multi-threaded scenarios, performance can degrade significantly due to the need for external synchronization, whereas concurrent dictionary is designed for multi-threaded scenarios for better performance. Number five, API differences. We do have various methods in dictionary and concurrent dictionary. I have mentioned over here few of them to give you feel how we are going to operate with the dictionary and the concurrent dictionary classes. For example, here I have shown you in dictionary, we do have two types of method, add and try it, by which we can add an item into the dictionary. Payment methods dot add one credit card. 
सो हियर आई है पास्ट पी की इज इक्वल टू वन चीज ऑफ इंट वेरिएबल टाइप एंड क्रेडिट कार्ड इज ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल टाइप बेसिकली हियर आई है पुट की वैल्यू पेयर while adding that item into the dictionary similarly i have used this try add method this is the way how we are going to make sure that if something is already added it is not going to throw an exception so that's where we are going to use this try add method how we are going to use that we need to call this method payment method dot try add and here again i have to pass this t key and t value so here t value is 2 and value is cash so basically i have added another payment method into this dictionary class with the help of try add method now when it comes to retrieve the value from the dictionary how we can do that for that we can use this for each here we are going to iterate how many items are there in the dictionary class and i'm going to iterate it and i'm going to access its key and value how we are going to access key and value here i'm going to use this payment method dot key it is give me the key and when we are going to use this value payment method dot value it is just going to give me the value of that particular key right this is the way how we are going to retrieve the value from the dictionary now when it comes to the concurrent dictionary side here we have try add method and add or update method try add method is the same like we have in the dictionary but add or update method is very unique in concurrent dictionary so here when we are going to use this add or update method we need to pass three parameters first i have passed two two is nothing but e to be added right second i have passed cash added so this is something we are going to provide a value to add since the key does not exist and finally i am just writing the third parameter g comma old value goes to cash updated what does it mean if no update is performed in this case so basically we need to provide three parameters when we are going to use this add or update method right now again how we are going to retrieve the value from this concurrent dictionary class right so again here we are going to use this for each by which we are going to iterate this dictionary and get this item is nothing but the key and value pair right payment method dot key i am going to get the key value like this and value payment method dot value this way i am going to get the value similarly i can iterate multiple times as long as this key value pair exists into this payment method concurrent dictionary okay so now let's discuss single threaded performance when we are going to deal with dictionary and concurrent dictionary so what i have done i have written simple code snippet here where we add a million items to a dictionary and a concurrent dictionary that's what if you see over here i have written the code snippet for dictionary and concurrent dictionary and these code snippets what basically it does it adds a million items to a dictionary and concurrent dictionary respectively and when it executes we find that a dictionary is faster in a single threaded context because it doesn't have the overhead of ensuring thread safety whereas concurrent dictionary poses a thread safety by default when we are going to deal with it right so that's why its performance is slower than dictionary in a single threaded environment however in multi threaded scenarios concurrent dictionary performs better due to its built in thread safety mechanism so now the question is is concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in c sharp answer is not necessarily in a single threaded context dictionary is faster due to its simplicity however in multi threaded scenarios concurrent dictionary shines due to its built in thread safety mechanism performs better okay so let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of multi threaded performance and single threaded performance when we are going to deal with concurrent dictionary and dictionary and then we are going to give the answer of this question is concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in c sharp with the help of output of this program so to show the demo what i have done i have created one console application named concurrent dictionary demo that has program.cs file in program.cs file first of all i have added necessary name spaces like using system using system dot collection dot concurrent using system dot collection dot generic using system dot diagnostic using system dot threading dot task then there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application so here first of all i have added this statement into console window that's what i have written console dot write line each concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in c sharp let's witness with demo right then what i have done then i have declared an initialize to int variable int iteration is equal to 5 million int num threads is equal to 50 then i am printing this statement single threaded performance then i am just calling this method measure single threaded performance where i am passing iteration as an argument into this method so what this method does it is just going to measure the performance of concurrent dictionary and dictionary in the single threaded environment 
Similarly, I have written another method, measure multi-threaded performance. Here I have passed two arguments, patient and num threads. So this method is going to again measure the performance in multi-threaded environment for concurrent dictionary and the dictionary. Okay, now let's see this measure single threaded performance. What I have written the code inside. So this method is nothing but the static method that is going to accept one int variable, int iteration. So what this method does, first it creates an object of the concurrent dictionary. That's what I have written where concurrent dict is equal to new concurrent dictionary int int then what i have done i have started stopwatch what i have written where sw single threaded is equal to stopwatch dot start new by this method i'm just going to starting this stopwatch and then i'm just going to perform iteration with the help of for loop and inserting an item into this concurrent dictionary that's what i have written for int i is equal to zero i less than iteration i plus plus concurrent dict and here i am passing i is equal to 10 Basically, I am inserting an item into concurrent dictionary. Then, when the for loop gets ended, then what I am doing? I am just stopping this stopwatch. That's what I have written as w single threaded dot stop. So this is the way how we are going to measure this performance of the concurrent dictionary when we are going to add 5 million items into this concurrent dictionary with the help of this iteration. Right? Now next what I have done? I have created an object of this dictionary class where dict is equal to new dictionary int int. Again here I am just going to measure the time for single threaded insertion for this dictionary. That's what I have started again this stopwatch. That's what I have written a stopwatch dot start new. Here again I am using this for loop that is going to get iterated based on this iteration variable then it is just going to perform insertion into this dictionary then finally i am just going to stop this stopwatch with the help of a stop method so this way i am going to capture the measurement how much time these things took in order to execute so this way i am just going to capture this performance of this dictionary class right finally what i am doing i am just going to print the result into console window what i have written console dot right line single threaded concurrent dictionary sw single Threaded dot elapsed millisecond and here I am written MSH. Similarly, I am just going to print this statement, second statement also single threaded dictionary with lock. How much time it took in order to execute these things? That's what I have written SW log dot elapsed millisecond MSH. So that's how we are going to print the result into console. Okay, so now let's see this major multi threaded performance method. It's a static method. It is going to accept two input parameters int iteration, int num thread. So here, first of all, I am just going to test this concurrent dictionary with multi threading. For that, what I have done. I have created an instance of this concurrent dictionary. That's what I have written where obj concurrent dictionary is equal to new concurrent dictionary int int and then I have started this stopwatch over here. What I have written this state. Then I have used this parallel dot for loop. Basically, this is going to make sure that it will create n number of threads that is going to help us to insert data into this concurrent dictionary. And then finally, I'm just going to stop this stopwatch. What I have written this state is w multi threaded concurrent dot stop. Then in I'm just going to test the dictionary with the locking and the multi thread. For that, here I have started this stopwatch and then I have created a dictionary object over here and I have created a lock object over here and then finally I'm just executed this parallel loop that is going to perform insertion of item into the dictionary class. That's what I have written parallel dot for zero num threads goes to for int i is equal to zero i less than iteration divided by number threads i plus plus lock object over here lock object and then just going to insert an item into this dictionary obj dictionary i is equal to 10 finally i am just stopping this stopwatch whatever the measurement got captured with the help of this stopwatch i am going to print into console window console dot right line multi threaded concurrent dictionary sw multi threaded concurrent dot elapsed millisecond that i am going to print into console window similarly i have printed this things also multi threaded dictionary with lock and then sw dot elapsed millisecond ms right so this is how this program is constructed in order to show the demo okay let me go and execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. See this output. First of all, this statement got printed. Is concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in C sharp? Let's witness with demo. If you see the single threaded performance, concurrent dictionary, it took 5081 millisecond. Whereas dictionary with lock, it took just 351 milliseconds. See the performance. Dictionary is better in single threaded performance compared to the concurrent dictionary. Right? But if you see this multi-threaded performance, this concurrent dictionary, it took just 230 milliseconds. Whereas dictionary with lock in multi-threaded environment, it took 553 milliseconds. It is way higher of this concurrent dictionary. Here, concurrent dictionary performance is better. So now you got the answer of this question. Is concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in C-sharp? Not necessarily. In single-threaded context, dictionary is faster due to its simplicity. However, you see this multi-threaded performance, we have witnessed that concurrent dictionary performance is better compared to the dictionary in the multi 
multi threaded environment okay so that brings me to end up my session today to sum up in this video we have answered this question is concurrent dictionary better than dictionary in c sharp right now i hope this video helps you to understand when to use concurrent dictionary versus dictionary that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video